Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls 3 walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be exploring the Smoldering Lake. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And I did a couple of things. Number one, I farmed up a butt ton of souls so that we could level up eight times. I also went ahead and bought the exiled armor. We're going to be needing that a little bit later. I put on some red bug pellets and I made sure that I had my pyromancy flame on and some homeward bones. Now that that's all been said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is level up. Welcome, Husby. Very well, then take me. We're going to put two into Vigor, two into Endurance, two into Strength, two into Dex. Farewell, I should make them. Now we're going to sit at the bonfire and we are going to travel over to the High Lord Walnir's bonfire. Also, real quick, just a side note, make sure that when you're tuning spells, you have flash sweat on. If you don't have that spell yet, Go back and get it. We're going to need it for this episode. You can always buy it from Cornex. He is the pyromancer guy that will teach you all the pyromancies and whatnot. We're going to knock this bridge down. Be really careful. You want to wait until it falls all the way before you get too close. It'll be coming a ladder in just a moment here. There we go. As soon as you see the descend pop up, go ahead and press X. Or A if you're playing on Xbox. Now, real quick, we're going to have a demon down there to our right. And then off across the way, we're going to have a mimic. We're going to use the mimic to fight the demon so we're just gonna just run straight over here hit the mimic make sure you roll out of the flame there you can use these skeletons to your advantage just summon them in. Woo! The demon will fight these skeletons. heal ourselves looks like the demons kicking the skeletons butts I am getting my butt kicked. This demon's kicking everybody's butt. As 
So for killing the demon, we get the soul of a demon, obviously. Well, maybe not obviously for everybody, but you know, at least for me. Come up here, pick up the black blade. That's where the mimic died that we hit earlier. Make sure we're not missing any goodies. Grab a large titanite. A large soul of a nameless soldier. And then right over here, this item here, the old sage's blindfold and the witch's ring. The witch's ring is really good for all you pyromancers. If you put it on, it's just going to boost all your pyromancies. So you might want to put that on. Let's sit at this bonfire for just a moment. Just to refill our flasks. We're going to need it. We're going to have a ballista shooting big bolts at us. Like huge ballista bolts at us. And it's going to be right up there. So just kind of look at it. Roll. Look at it. Roll. It's the best I can tell everybody. Roll. 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 Missed it. I thought I was um, behind the tree just enough, but apparently I was not. We're gonna run, 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 run. And we're gonna come over here and go in this cave. Got ourselves a crystal lizard. Be careful, every now and then they can go in the wall. Um, they may or may not die if they do go in the wall, so keep that in mind. not something that's supposed to happen more of a glitch than anything get ourselves a titanite chunk and then right here we have horse the hush he's actually a pretty easy fight not that hard as I get hit I'm like he's not that hard heal ourselves and then right here I love this shield I think it's called the lay win or lay win I, I don't know how to pronounce it but I love this shield it looks really cool we're gonna be using it here soon get a large titanite shard get another large titanite shard I believe we are able to upgrade our claymore to plus six now Maybe even plus seven because we have two Titanite chunks as well. We're getting pretty close to maxing out our play more already. Be careful not to go over by the big old crabs, they suck. go then run over here now we can use the ballista bolts to break things the first thing you can break is that um, platform right over there you see a bunch of rocks on the floor you can stand on top of it and let the ballista bolt break it I'm not gonna bother with it because we're not going down there anyways we're gonna take the natural path um, to the smolder through not to through the smoldering lake that's just the way I like to do it so 
So I stood in front of that for a reason. This wall, when you stand in front of it, make sure that you dodge at the very last second so that the ballista bolt will break it because we need the ring that is right here, the speckled stone plate ring. We're gonna be needing that in just a little bit. Be very careful, we have a sandworm. This thing can hurt pretty bad. Grab the shield of want. Shield of Want is really good. It will allow you to get more souls for every kill. We're going to stand right here. And we're going to let the Ballista Bolt kill this Sandworm. Why we do a whole lot of nothing? Let's go ahead and put the Shield of Want on. And I will see everybody back here when the Sandworm is dead. Alrighty, everyone, the sandworm is dead, finally. Um, it took a little bit, but the ballista did kill it. So for killing the sandworm, we get the lightning stake along with an undead bone shard. Now I'm just going to use the shield of want for now so that we can collect some extra souls. Also, one other thing, the boss room is over there. We're not even going to bother with it just yet. We're going to go through all of this area first, and then we'll worry about it. If you want to summon in some help, you can. We're about to run into a new enemy. These enemies can summon in a ball of fire. I think they're technically called suns. When you kill them, if they summon them in, the suns will go away. Those enemies, by the way, will um, normally drop Titanite Shards. Oh, we're going to need our bow again. Get the attention of these Gru. And then off to the left, we're going to have two more. Go ahead and heal ourselves. And then we're going to have the ones that jump. So be very careful. Just be ready. There's two over there. God, I hate those guys. <laughs> They're terrifying. Just whatever you do, do not let them grab you. If you let them grab you, you will regret it. Get that lava blob to come over here. They're pretty slow, but I like to pull it out here because we're going to have a demon. Um, a matter of fact, they're a demon from Dark Souls 1, so if you played Dark Souls 1, they should look familiar. I was going to say seem familiar, but I don't know. Words. I'm always struggling with them. So kill the uh, lava blob, and then come over here. And take that guy out before he spits some fire at you. We can get ourselves an ember. Now you can jump over to that. Uh, the jump is a little tricky. But you can make it if you want to. I'm not going to bother. 
I like to show everybody natural progression. Take out that sun. And then we can get the attention of that enemy over there. See if we can't get him to come over here. Oh, he made another sun. Of course he did. It's alright. If we kill him, then he'll come over here. Maybe. There you are, bud. Great place to farm regular Titanite shards and even um, some large Titanite shards if you don't mind. Um, should have been paying attention there. If you don't mind grinding a little bit because the big old crabs earlier where the Ballista Bolt was uh, shooting at us, you can kill those crabs and every now and then they'll drop a large Titanite shard. So up top we have a lava blob. We're just going to run by, get it to drop down. Also, those guys can drop chaos gems. If you're a pyromancer, those are pretty good. You can put them on a weapon. And then your weapon will scale with your pyromancies. Pretty awesome, right? Grab ourselves another undead bone shard. We could go off to the right if we wanted to. We're not going to, not just yet. Matter of fact, let's put on this shield here. Because we're getting ready to... Uh, fight a black knight Try to get that parry See if I can parry him again There we go Every now and then he will drop his shield or an armor piece and his Black Knight Axe. Right here is the Black Knight Sword. You can use that on the boss, which will do more damage to him. So if that's something you want to use, you can. It is a pretty decent um, weapon in general. Cool, we got a large Titanite shard from that Gru. That is a rare drop from the Gru, so I wouldn't use the Gru to farm large Titanite. Because the crabs have a higher chance to drop a large Titanite than these Gru. Don't you do it, bud. He's getting ready to spit some poison at us. I'm going to come right over here, get ourselves an ember, come up to the top here, be really careful, we got one of those enemies here, I think they're Gru too, I'm not sure, ouch.
grab ourselves a Titanite Shard. And then we're going to veer off to the right here. Follow this hallway down. And then right up top here, if you would have let the Ballista break the floor, this is where we would have landed. That's why I said, uh, it's not really worth it unless you really want to use it as a shortcut. Kill that Crystal Lizard for another Chaos Gem. So there's a guaranteed Chaos Gem for everybody. Or maybe not everybody, but uh, people that may need it. Like Pyromancers or maybe if you're doing some kind of uh, sorcery build that you want a little bit of fire on your weapon. Never hurts. No! There he is. To the right, we're going to have a Gru. And then right behind us, to our left, we have another one. You cut that out, sir. Wow, we are just getting lucky with the large Titanite today. Get the Izalith Pyromancy Tome. We can turn that into Cornix. We'll come back out here where the bonfire is. And we're going to come over here. This is an illusory wall. I'm going to roll into it. And then up at the top, we have a ton of lava blobs. So we're just going to run straight through here. Don't walk, just run. And get ourselves an Estus Shard. This is where you could have jumped over to if you wanted to. Like I said, we will get over here regardless. Plus there's a bonfire over here. So. Now we're going to backtrack just a little bit. Oh, you know what? Let's use a Homeward Bone. Nah, we're going to backtrack, go to the bonfire. I can't use a Homeward Bone because then it's just going to send us to the bonfire up here. We will fast travel back over to the Demon Runes. Let's go over to the Demon Runes. I'll see everybody in just a moment. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put some rings on. Number one, we're going to put our flamestone plate ring on. And then we're going to put our speckled stone plate ring on. And then we're going to put a ring of sacrifice on. We're going to put our conjurer, conjurer hood on. Our exiled armor. Now, unless you have Havel's ring, you're going to be over encumbered quite a bit. But that's okay, because what we're doing, we don't need speed for. Well, maybe we need speed a little bit, but... We're going to run down these stairs. Be really careful. Got those suns over there that are going to shoot fireballs at us. And now we're going to take this hallway down. There's a couple of rats. But they're not that hard. So I wouldn't worry too much about them. Got some over here as well. The reason we're putting the... Ring of Sacrifice on, by the way, is just in case we die. Because it's a very big possibility that we could die here. Can come over here and get Quailana's Pyromancy Tome. And then we're going to heal ourselves up to full. We're going to put Flash Sweat on. 
We're going to eat a red bug pellet and then keep our Estus flasks on. Because we're going to run and grab ourselves Toxic Mist. Heal. 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 Just keep healing. Heal. Heal again. We made it through just barely. That was lucky. Let's go ahead and use a Homeward Bone. We're going to go back to the bonfire we last rested at. Now let's go ahead and put our armor back on. And we're going to run back down the hallway with the rats. I always get hit by those fireballs. I forgot to put uh, the rings back on as well. We'll put those back on in just a moment. Once we get to a safe area. Okay, so we're going to put the silver serpent ring back on. Our milk ring... Or, well, yeah, Karthus Milk Ring back on. And then our Corn 3 Ring back on. Take out that rat. And then right down here, we're going to have a big rat. And right here, if we hit this wall, it'll be an illusory wall. Get ourselves three large Titanite shards. Hit the wall behind it. And then right down here, we can get the Isolus Staff. Take out the Basilis. Be really careful, there are a ton of basilisks down here. Grab a Titanite scale right here. I think the last one is right here. And it is. So we killed all the basilisks. Now here comes the hard part. This is either going to be really easy for you or extremely hard. But either way, the best of luck. I'm not going to have my shield of want on just in case I need it in a minute. We have wannabe Iron Tarkus down here. I know his name is Sorg, but if you play Dark Souls... One, you know why I say that. We're going to lead him over to this Black Knight. We're going to have the Black Knight and Sorig fight. Oh, wow. Sorig was like, fight what? <laughs> Woo. Oh my god. That hit so hard.
So for killing Sorig, we get the Fume Ultra Great Sword along with the Black Iron Great Shield. Just checking if the Black Knight dropped anything. It did not. Now here comes the real challenge. We're going to have to walk in lava again. We're going to put on the armor sets to help us out. Flash sweat. Red bug pellet. Woo! That was close. That was very, very close. So we have two Estus left. If you want... Oh, we didn't... You know what? We didn't even put on the rings. Good lordy. If you want, you can fast travel back to the bonfire to replenish your Estus. But the Black Knight will respawn if you do that. So keep that in mind. Okay, before we continue any further, we're going to hop down right here. Grab ourselves the Dragon Rider bow. And then we're going to come out here. And we are going to run right over here. Be really careful. We have the Ballista back. It's going to be shooting ballista bolts at us. Grab some homeward bones. Got a couple of bone wheel skeletons. Take them out. Hopefully we can get an Estus or two back. Doesn't look like it. It's all right. We got another one of those guys with two shoulders. That's going to be the one that's the most difficult. Just because of how fast he is. Although this one's more annoying than anything. Throwing all those things at us. Couldn't have went any better. We have one Estus Flask left. We're going to push this lever. Or a lever. Whatever you want to call it. And now the Ballista will stop shooting at us. 
we're going to do is we're going to hop down. Take a ton of damage. It's okay. That's the only drop that's going to um, damage us. The rest of them will be just fine to hop down from. And now we are back where we started in the smoldering lake. Pretty cool, huh? And we don't have to worry about the ballista. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this platform where we could have had the ballista break. If we would have stood right here and then at the last minute rolled away, it would have broke uh, the floor. Be really careful for the crabs. Try not to let them see you. We're just coming over here for an item and then we are going to backtrack over to the um, bonfire. The demon ruins bonfire, that is. If you want to fight those crabs, you can. I'm not going to bother. Uh, I probably will off screen though. To farm up some large titanite. That way I can get my longbow up to plus six as well. We're going to grab this item that's over here. It's going to be another large titanite. And then we have an item that's way over here as well. Another large titanite. You know, we might actually be able to fully upgrade our... Uh, well, I know for sure we'll be able to do it for our claymore. But for our bow as well, to plus six. So we're going to rest at this bonfire. And then we are going to take these off. And... It doesn't really matter what you use, if I'm being honest, uh, except for Karthus Rouge. That's not going to help you at all. But if you want to use Human Pine re Resin to apply Dark or uh, Rotten Pine Resin, which we'll just do the Rotten Pine Resin. And you know what? Also put on some Green Blossom. We're going to summon in uh, Night Slayer Sorg. Even though we uh, did kill him, we can still summon him in. He's going to be our tank. And then right over here, we have Great Swamp Cuculus. Now, we want to keep her alive so that we can get her armor set that she's wearing. If she dies in the boss fight, you can't get her armor set. You're going to have to get out of the boss fight and then go back in, summon her in, and rinse and repeat. And kill the boss with her still alive. Let's go ahead and put on our shield of want. I'm going to show everybody a really good trick to be able to get a ton of souls. If you have the symbol of avarice as well, um, we'll put that on after we kill the boss. Let's see if I remember. Let's put some rotten pine resin on. Eat a green blossom, go into the boss fight. And we're going to run straight over to the old demon king. Want to make sure that we're getting over there. We're trying to build up some poison. Poison isn't going to damage him a lot, but it will continuously damage him. And Great Swamp Cuculus is going to help poison him as well. Oh my goodness, that hurt so bad. <laughs> He 
He's gonna summon in. Yep, a ring of fire. Oh, wow. Back away, he's going to explode. And we died. Ouch. All right, let's go ahead and try this boss fight again. Just healed you bastard. Run away. I get too brave sometimes. Run away! Now, he is just about dead. He can't do much. There we go. That's how the boss fight should go. Um, I got a little too brave earlier. I was like, oh, I can just um, poise through that damage. I could not. And then I forgot to put the symbol of avarice on as well so as soon as you kill him if you quick and hurry put the symbol of avarice on if you have it that is uh you will get some extra runes as well let's go ahead and light this bonfire and then we are going to head back to firelink shrine i will see everybody over there I lied, everybody. We are going to the undead settlement. I forgot about that. I went over to the cliff underside and the undead settlement. And the reason why is because we want the armor set for Great Swamp Cuculus. Go ahead and grab uh, the Cornex armor set along with the spotted whip. And then we can come in here and we can get ourselves back to the shrine bonfire. I'll see everybody at Firelink Shrine. First things first, let's burn some undead bone shards. I was hyper focused on leveling up my clay more. Forgot that we got two bone shards. And then we'll talk to Ludlith. I'll show everybody uh, what we can get with the souls that we got in the smoldering lake. Uh -huh. so, so for getting the old demon king's soul, we can get chaos bed vestige. Again, if you're trying to get all the sorceries, pyromancies, and uh, whatnot in the game, grab this up. You can also get the old king's great hammer. Pretty cool hammer. Um, 
along with the demon's great axe with the soul of a demon and then you can also get the demon's fist now i showed these off earlier into the walkthrough because we did see a demon prior um so these popped up way earlier now let's roll off here Then we're going to go to Andre. We're going to reinforce our weapon here. To plus six and then plus seven. How far can we get our... Uh, we only need two large Titanite shards. I may farm those up off screen. We're also going to reinforce our flask. Pretty be careful, I go. <laughs> and I want to real fast take that stuff off. Let's talk to Cornix. Ah, there you are, unkindled one. I am pleased to have a pupil as dedicated as you. <laughs> We're going to give him our pyromancy tomes. First one we're going to give him is uh, the Isolith Pyromancy Tome. Ah, what have we here? A Pyromancy Tome from Isolith. Then you found the home of Pyromancy. Brilliant. I will never curse being old and undead again. Now, now, show it here, quickly. Let us channel them together. The primal Pyromancy is known only to old Master Salaman. And then we're going to try to give him Quailana's Pyromancy Tome. He's not going to accept it, but we want to hear his dialogue. Ah, what have we here? By the gods, this inscription reads, Quailana, the ancient deity, one of the witches of Isolith. The last of them who wandered the lands. Then she must have returned to Isolith after all. But I regret to say, I cannot accept this. Quelana's pyromancies are for witches and must be learned from a mistress. But thank you for allowing me to peer upon such a thing. If only I were a woman. Huh. Do not be gone for long. What is it? <laughs> so obviously we're going to need another NPC to turn those pyromancy tomes into. For now, let's go over here and end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.